G'day, hello, welcome, welcome to Pathfinder, that's it, then I said Divinity, which obviously is a completely different RPG, tabletop D&D like game, so uh, welcome to Pathfinder, it plays, it's pretty much a game version of Pathfinder, uh, I don't know too much about it, but the, for me, the reference a lot like D&D, that's where I get my kick from. Obviously, they're different board games using similar rules, but that's for me. Anyway, we're going to start a new game. If I go load, as you can see, I've only played a couple of hours, fell in love with the game. So now, here I am. Turn that up so I can actually hear it. Here I am to start a new game specifically for our stream. I got the DLCs, but we sh I want to start with the main... What? I think or swim mode. I don't know what that is, but... uh, wait. Let's start with just the main game first. Um, used. I'm currently on story, my normal one. So let, let, let's do normal. Let's just do base game, normal, uh, and go from there. That's that's all I can think. And also, feel free to let me know if the audio is quiet or oh, sh geez, we had a thing for a second. So we can pick one of these pre-made characters, or... That's kind of cool. I'd love to... I wish I was good at art and actually able to make my own custom image, but... Doesn't matter. Anyway, custom character. We're going to make our own character. We're going to make our own adventure. So... He kind of looks... Oh, he looks actually kind of sick as hell. You know what? Let's be... Let, let's look like an... Was this a wizard... Oh, he kind of cool too. But uh, I think I think I'm gonna go with uh, this cool, cool lad. So we got different classes. We gotta work out what class we're going to do. Uh, blood rager. Ah, so they're more like a berserk type of cavalier. Also, there's difficulties. I'm playing a wizard actually. Uh, wizard in my first one, which. And employ the strongest spells. I'm controlling wicked enemies, both with spells and unique magic abilities called hexes. So, this one plays like, I guess, my reference is like a warlock, and we are using curses with magical abilities. Alright, sorry, just got comfy because I am just an uncomfy person in general. Rogues, rogue be kind of cool. May be dealing horrendous amounts of damage. They're level one difficulty so i think the fact that i've only played a couple hours of pathfinder and it's something new uh we probably should actually what i'm gonna do while i'm chatting making this I'm gonna put on this headset so i can find out if the audio is good or i need to balance it a bit. oh my god how the hell do cables get tangled up when you don't even touch them oh yeah they can go up way more all right so we've got Eldridge Scout. Oh, that's definitely getting a lot better Christmas sound, I think. Master of Awe. Rowdy. Salvan. Salvan. Well, on sales after mischief. He's Fae of Legend. Thug. Underground Chemist. So. What's the recommended build? Except. What do we. What? What builds? I have no idea what build we got. Uh, did I? Master for all, half L spend all the time gaining new knowledge and skills becoming the master of all. Alright, um. Sneak stab. Alright, I'm, I'm gonna go knife master. I'm gonna go knife master. Knife master. Dampire. Undead resistant. Ooh. A Kitson. O Reed. Tiefling. Asmia. I'm gonna go Dampire. Dampire would be pretty cool. What's my Dampire heritage? Alright. Maybe he's slightly down. Alright, sorry, I'm just playing with audio as I go, so that way 
Maybe a little bit more. All right. I think I'm happy with that. So because of that, I shall take that off. So I don't have to keep listening to Echo to myself. Um, so we're a damp pie. Now we're going to work out uh, a racial bonus to strength and intelligence. No, we don't want to minus the dex because we're playing as a rogue. Uh, charisma, intelligence, constitution, racial bonus, mobility, and knowledge, strength, and intelligence. Vampires on the sun have a dex and charisma penalty to constitution. I think vampire just flat out vampire probably be a better option. What's going on? I can hear him behind all that stuff there on the shelf behind my head. That way, doing them something. Who knows? Uh, pickpocket, trickery and stealth, trickery and mobility. I think stealth I want to do because I don't know if we get bonuses with backstabs and that type of thing playing as a rogue. Uh, so far as I gathered, a lot of it is very D&D-like. So, yeah. Anyway, next. Uh, it's already been distributed for me. That's cool. That's cool. Cool. Two weapon fighting. Improve two attack rolls for fire with two weapons. or reduce the penalty for primary handling. You will a second weapon and you're off and you can get one extra per round. Okay, so yeah, that's practically what we do. So, we can be as mutist, so we're cursed. The evil. Oh. Uh, for Gog. Well, that age of creation, God known as the Rough Beast. Uh, a pallid princess, Lady Despair, and the goddess of physical ex disease and an undead. Uh, Prince of Pain, God of Darkness, Envy, and the Pain of... That'd be kind of cool. Let's be it. Let's be an edgy rogue. Let's be typical and edgy. Neutral, lawful. Let's just stay lawful, neutral. Yeah, we get to make our pretty, pretty, um, there, yes, that is, that, yes, I know what I'm doing. Let's make him real scrawny. I kind of like the purple, very night out fly. We must hunt down the avatar. <laughs> oh yeah. I like pink and purple, so we'll go with that. How am I meant? Ah, here. Uh, headgear. So I can see what hairstyle I got. Oh yeah. Can we make him ginger? Oh, let's go. Can he have a beard? I guess I can't give him a beard because he's a vampire? Elf thing? All paints, clothing color. I can't give him a beard. Dang, lab it. We really need wall paint. Not vibe, but wall paint. What tattoos we got? That's probably under my clothing. Let's make him nude. That's. I'm kind of scared. I haven't done this before. Please have pants on. Please have He got pants on. We're good. We're good. I didn't know what to expect. That. Oh, yeah. I well, kind of like that one. That's kind of cool. Sorry, I'm just taking forever just making a character. <laughs> Norwegian black metal enthusiast in me instantly got very excited the moment I saw that. We're going to do pink. Oh, yeah. Pink and pink. Let's go. Oh, yes. Their life ends here. I'll carve my name onto your flesh. Yes. Okay. Let, let, let's do the madman. Oh, what shall we call him? What should we... The name that I always make it flappy nuts. Got me born fifth or feb, the same as me, but Flappy Nutsworth has made his way from Fallout to Pathfinder. Let's shake a leg. 
All right, complete. We have done it. We have done it. Wow, that 11 minutes in, and I've only just started the game after customizing. Boy, we're off to a great start. Actually, no, we really are off to a great start. I'm actually very excited about this. I'm going to have a lot of fun. I absolutely am thrilled to be finally playing. As much as I enjoy playing some horror games and that, I need to go back and finish Dead Space yet. I, I know, I know. Uh, but RPGs, fantasy and RPGs, I'm absolutely loving. And what I am appreciating is when I look over to see the frame rate in the red, because it's higher than what I have programmed, I like that instead of it being under than what it needs to be. Hey, look, it's us! So yeah, I literally know nothing about this game, but love it it's so good instantly came hooked to it last night when i started hey somebody we got a wounded fighter can we get a healer over here my my would you look at this but why would you drag a wounded fighter into the yeah. middle of the festival square? because Could bugger it be your festival somewhere else like oh i don't know an infirmary or an accommodating ditch well yeah. Okay, I really hope I can bash you for your Make ignorant room, everyone, comments. Step back. Now, what's the matter? What happened to him? Hmm. The wound looks nasty. Who did this to him? Demons, prelate. We found him barely alive outside the walls. Oh, of you know he's gonna die. He doesn't even have an icon. <laughs> the walls, you say? Enemy doesn't usually stray so close to the city. Must fortify the defenses. And you, hold fast. Don't die. We'll see you right. All right. Sorry, I'm just getting comfy. We'll get you patched up now. But first, you there, guard. Take his weapons. Bearing arms is not permitted during the festival. Wounded or not, everyone must abide by the rules. That's just get his things back after the festival. O oh, Inheritor, leader of our troops, the sharpened edge of our blades and the unyielding strength of our armor. Iomade, I beseech you, grant your mercy. Heal his wounds. The magic evokes you, but your pain lessens only slightly. Water. I won't give up that easily. Let me die. Grit your teeth in silence. I want to go. I won't give up that easily. Here, here. That's the Crusader spirit. Oh, we got the Crusader spirit. My powers are not enough here. Someone call for Terendalev. You there. Yes, you. Stop dithering and gawping and make yourself useful. Go and get Terendalev. Get wrecked. Prelate, surely there is somebody else here better suited to running errands. Sorry, I was reading the little gray. The lady raises her head in an affectionate of surprise. Affection of surprise? I'll get her. Terendalev. Has anyone seen Terendalev? <laughs> what? Did she just did? Be quick about it before it's too late. Now, who are you? I don't remember seeing you before. I'm and I have an excellent memory for faces. All right, we're gonna do. We're going to a voice for. I'm gonna do a low raspy voice that doesn't take a lot on my throat. I'm Flappy Knotsworth. That's the first I've heard. Why does it easily like go British? Who are you then? British. What's your business in the city? I've come to fight demons. I'm the only one left. My dear prelate, please, for the sake of the festivities, stop interrogating this poor man. He has been through enough already. Go yes, on. Yes, I have. I'll take care of him. Thank you, pretty lady. All right, as you wish. You are our protector, and a dragon at that. So I shall defer to your wisdom, but be on your guard. I've been informed he was wounded near Canabras. That means the demons are prowling just outside the walls, and the city is crawling with their spies. Others may be able to relax on this holiday, but not you or I. Not the defenders of this city. Honoring discontently if the old man walks away. Walks off. Pry loose the grudging grip of pain. Cast off the veil of suffering flesh. Let light and life go forth in triumph to repel the skulking shade of death. There. Damn. A beautiful silver haired woman leans over you. She seems ageless, her face woolly unlined. 
but centuries old sadness gleamed in her eyes. The longer she speaks, the stronger her voice becomes. Thank you for helping me. I accept your thanks. Who are you? My name is Terendalev. I am the protector of this city. Are you really a dragon? You don't believe me. Perhaps I should retake my true form and engulf this square with my ice breath to win your trust. <laughs> Pay no mind to my current guise. I appear this way when I walk among the people. I would hamper the festivities if I tried to attend in my true form. Interesting. Uh, what happened? I do not know yet. Oh, I forgot and my voice. Me. I am not entirely sure what the demons did to you. This wound is no ordinary injury, and it was inflicted by no ordinary weapon. I have rid you of your pain and restored your strength, but only time will allow you to heal fully. Can I go? Certainly, but be careful. I have managed to get you back on your feet, but I have not healed you fully. Alas, sooner or later, your pain will return. Hey. But do not be discouraged. You will recover, I promise you that. Tomorrow, come to the cathedral and say that you are expected by Terendalev, protector of Canabras. We will find a way to help you. But for now, put this out of your mind and enjoy the festival. They are all too rare in this time of war, and merriment is one of the best medicines. End dialogue. Emrys is a city poised on the border between the world on one side and the ordinary world inhabited by original people. Blah, 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 blah. Also, I think I got given a digital map that I can open while playing. So I'll have to look into it to see if I can have like the map open on like a little square or something in the corner so you can see where we are, what we're up to, that type of thing. Movement, premier, yeah, all right. This way. Let's throw some darts. Left, aim further to left. Can I, can I nail this? Oh. Bullseye, perfect. I did all that. That was all me. Cool. All right. Cool, cool, cool. Um, let's done this. There it is. Let's go have a swack. So we're playing as this edgy rogue named Flappy Nuts. <laughs> oh god. Bam, right on the jaw. Haha, ha. you call that a punch here. Let me show you how it's done. Rock roll. She actually really was a dragon. Oh damn! Okay, she was in this. Okay, <laughs> she. To lend me a weapon. Care to lend me a weapon? I'll try to fight the demons. Sure thing. Here, take this. Best crossbow I've got. The person who made it said it could pierce the hide of a demon lord, even. Oh, oh Good okay. luck. Try not to get eaten now. Further jammed up by a table rumble rustling. All right, cool. So I can even pierce the demon's demon lord's heart. Well, I guess we're about to find that out, aren't we? Jaws at the 
Lord of Locusts. Oh well, that that can't be good. Behold, Iomane. Behold the death I saw. Whoa. Good old cheeky coffee. Right. The silver dragon Terendeleb, the defender of Canabras, fell in battle. Hardly surprising, as she had to fight the demon lord Discari himself. He willed the land to part and swallow all who dared to stand yeah, in did. his way. But the war was still far from over. Rup roll. Alright, we're just waking up in some random, random cavern. Alright, let's see if we can find some clues. Ah. A small woman with messy brown hair winced in pain under a stream of curses through clenched teeth. She's pinned to the ground by a couple of weight, weighty boulders. Hey. With me, you actually got pretty lucky. You fell down into a black hole, but at least you're not on your own. You've got a great companion. The young woman. Everything's not... going to be just fine. Tell me something. Can you feel your legs? The young woman and I armor stud studies the rocks intentionally, clearing, trying to work out how to move them. I feel them all right. One say no to a little less feeling in them. My ankle's killing me, but my back seems to still be in one piece my head too well i guess that's a good thing that's all that matters now we're going to hey fancy meeting you down here you're the one that Terendal appealed today right you aren't injured are you will you help me get her out from under the boulders i don't know let's try athletics i don't i don't know what my skill is Okay, we yeah to work hard to get the wound man wound, wounded woman out from under the robot last night stops to catch a breath and what oh, damn it all I think it's broken oh well I've had worse I'll just make myself a splint out of something thanks for the help I wouldn't have lasted long on my own stuck under there I'm in Evia Tirabade of the Eagle Watch I was overseeing security at the festival square I thought maybe spies or demon worshippers might have something nasty planned. What actually happened though? Now that I did not see coming. I don't think anyone could have been prepared for that. Yeah, look, you wouldn't expect the demon. Well, I'm Sila, paladin by the grace of Iomade. I crossed the whole continent to come to Mendeb and fight demons. And well, I've been fighting for a while now. <laughs> nice. I don't even want to think what might be happening up there in the city. Canabres has lost the protection of Terendelev, and of the Wardstone too, looks like. It's a relic without equal. It was placed here personally by Iomade's herald, with the goddess's blessing. I really wanted to go see it, to pray before it. But there's no point worrying about a stone when there are people dying in the streets. Yeah, things are looking grim enough, but don't lose heart. Wardstone or no, dragon or no. Canabras will never give in. Simple as. Well, we've introduced ourselves. What about you? My name is Flappy Knotsworth. Good to meet you. Now, tell us all about yourself. Jesus Christ. This is an interrogation or something. Whoa, girl. Slow down. Exchanging names is enough for now. We don't have time to be swapping life stories. We need to find a way out of here. <sighs> Now then, I'll hobble my way out of here somehow. The city ain't far, only 30 paces or so. That's if you're going straight up, of course. I'm afraid we're gonna have to go the long way round. Sorry, I was my cat. To summarize, there are three of us with five working legs, three pairs of decent hands, two clear heads, and one made of wood. <laughs> That's mine. Underground monsters beware! <laughs> Damn, you are full of energy you and bubbles. You stay behind us. You're in no fit state to fight. 
If we do come up against anything, the two of us will try to manage on our own first. Well, onward! May the good deities lead us back to the open sky soon. And dialogue. Uh, yeah, yeah, I know. Press backspace and you can Forward. play the character. No, no, backwards. Uh, backwards! Tab, tab. Tab tells us all. Alright. Like protection because I can't use. Um. Um. Gonna go with crossbow for now until we can get another weapon that we can pair it with it. Yeah. Ooh. It's shine. Alright, that. Pretty sure we use that to revive our team member if. Who's there? The final imperial of this young half elf woman is torn and stained with blood, dust, and dirt. However, she holds herself with such. Dignity that you would be forgiven for thinking you were at a high society party, not in the dark, in the dank catacombs under the city. Her fingers grip her rapier hilt with confidence, ready to draw it at any moment's notice. At her feet lies a dead body, so mutilated that a first glance is hard to tell if it's animal or human. Relax, friend. We're, we're not demons or cultists. Don't poke my eye out with that thing, all right? We fell down here during the attack. I'm Sila, that's Anevia, and this is our new friend. We're looking for a way back to the surface. Hey, she doesn't even remember my name. Really? I'm so ever glad to hear it. Allow me to introduce myself. I am Camellia. I was also in the square when... Hey. When... I can scarcely believe it. How did all those demons get into the city? I thought... Naively, it now seems. That the Wardstone protected us from attack. And Terendalev... I can't wrap my head around it. Not many could withstand the strike from a demon lord, not even Tarendale. Tell me more about yourself. What happened to this poor man? Who is he? Do you want to join us? We need to keep moving. Alright. Not many could withstand the strike from a demon lord, not even Tarendale. I can't argue with that. We're fortunate to be alive, albeit underground. Descari himself has come to Canabras. There's no mistaking that ugly mug. Durandalev tried to fight him, but what could she do against a mere deity? Even the Wardstone was no help. Our city used to be protected by powerful forces, but now... Anivia shakes her head. We've seen how powerless they truly are. Henceforth, we shall have no one but ourselves to rely on, I suppose. Do you want to join us? Certainly. Survivors should stick together. It's only sensible. Who knows what else could be prowling about in these caves? We need to keep moving. There must be a way to the surface somewhere around That's here. That's right. It would be the height of foolishness to survive a demon attack only to perish under a pile of rubble. Let's see if this poor bloke has anything useful on him. Not to sound like a heartless brigand or nothing, but we kind of need all the supplies we can get right now. Damn, okay. Okay. Painting your Camille has the ability to cure lots of years. Click on the portrait, click the icon, spin on the hand, blah, blah, blah. Alright. We need to. Well. Bitch. We're all thinking of it. She had the ball. Oh, yes. Got a melee weapon. So, what's that? Oh, yeah. Coming together. It's all coming together. I don't know, I play such a hard to see anything. There are two main ways to light your path. The first is a cast spell or a torch. Let's shake a leg. How do I? Uh, okay. Sorry. We will win this war. I heard the voice of the spirits. Save the last one when we get in combat, which turn base in a time. I didn't know that. I didn't know this part. I know that you hit space and you can react. I didn't even realize there's a turn base mode. Nice. Okay. I'll cut you wide open. The spirits demand your blood. 
Right. You are today's sacrifice. I don't know how this works. Oh, I gotta hit space again. The inheritor, guide my blade. Okay, so changing weapon is an action. All right, not gonna lie, I kind of prefer this mode. The light, take you. Burn, slice, uh, right, interesting. So many thoughts, so little time. All loot. I say into the well, it wouldn't be a bad idea actually to get used to the turn based mode, but I'm not here. Trail me. Do not fear. Do not waver. What's this? One. Me. All right. May I see your entrails, please? <laughs> Got sneak attack, no yo. Go here. Nice, nice. Idea if this is the right way. Actually, What's it might be. So there? let's go down. Put turn-based mode on, because really I should. Learn how to use turn based mode. Heartbeat quickens. Go for their hearts. The world in crimson. What? There was another one you did? How was I meant to know that? He wasn't the there. Guide my blade. All right. So it's not as bad. Are you okay? My kid, I got distracted by Pikelet, she was blepping. Yeah. What's this? Warning not stacking bonus. Alright, so that, I guess that doesn't work for us then. Right. I thought that would be a good thing to have, but apparently not. They will break against our resolve. Oh, let the attack commence. Die, die, die. What the? F Why couldn't I? I'm very confused. I could reach him a second ago and then all of a sudden I couldn't. I'll cut you wide open. Your pain is my pleasure. Oh man, the don't need a pop and chub. Thank you. Burn! Slice! And behead! idea what I'm doing. No idea. Well, wow, you guide my blade. Really aren't. What if I get behind you? May I see your entrails, oh, please? Perfect. There we go. You can trust me. Saying you can trust me feels like I can't trust you. Not gonna lie. Wherever my legs carry me. The hell's you? No, I can't just walk away. It's got to be here somewhere. When do I? Let 
Lan, did you find it? Who is that? This woman looks just as strange as her companion, like a cross between a cat and a spider. When she catches sight of you, she immediately drops into a fight sense. Her movements reveal the lethal grace of a wild predator. Who is that? The do-gooders here to save our mongrel souls, no doubt. Wait, they might know what's going on up there. Demons are laying waste to Kenabra. If things are as bad as you say, then we all have to hurry. You didn't come from the direction of the shield mace. Damn it. I couldn't care less about what's happening on the surface, but the maze. I realize that you guys have your own troubles, but we need to be in Canabras. People are dying up there. Please, show us the way out. What are you doing here? That's none of your bit. We're looking for a holy sword. It was here, in the center, sticking out of a rock. The sooner we find it, the better. Some kids from our tribe took off for the shield maze. They figured it had collapsed, and now it's their time to go up to the surface, like all the legends foretold. <laughs> They're cute. Except they don't have a clue what's waiting for them up there. They're not fighters. And Sol, <laughs> the chief of our tribe, is dead set against it. He says that now isn't the time for the underground crusaders to take up arms. If we get the holy sword, we might be able to change the chief's mind. It's a fool's errand. None of us will be able to hold the sword, let alone use it to save anyone. It's not an ordinary weapon. It's made from righteous heavenly flame and will burn anyone who touches it. You think you're special, Lan. Well, you are a lovely human being. That person. I'll pick it up with my teeth and tie it to my hand if I have to. It doesn't matter. An angel sword and a troop of stalwart mongrels will be able to work a minor miracle. <laughs> uh, speaking of which, you're still here, Wendu, which means that deep down, you know it's possible. Oh, got him. I can help, but you're going to... We'll find the sword faster if we work together. I'll help you. Thanks. An extra pair of eyes can only help. I want help. that one. I don't want, I don't want to sword will be easy enough bad to person. Spot. It looks... Uh, sorty. Help us, and in return, we'll get you out of here. Sick. <laughs> now we're talking. Let's get to work. It's a good thing we all bumped into each other, isn't it? What? You want to find the sword quickly, so the underground monsters bring you back to the surface. So be it. You suck. You suck! Forwards? I found oh, no. Backwards. something! Backwards. What's that there? No secrets can escape my pride. No, hey. what is that? I found! Uh, something. Oh, clearly that must have been the right one because our character got to do it as main character stuff, not side character. What? Oh, fuck. Read. <laughs> Shit. Alright. Sorry, I had to prepare myself. Gotta fix up this microphone. A strange flash pierces the gloom. Flappy nuts what feels drop of searing blood run down his chest. The wound healed by a Toretto wheel reopens and weeps scarlet. There's no pain or weakness. A hazy scene appears, a chamber. This is one or another entirely. Flappy Nutsworth's heartbeat quickens and a stream of thoughts suddenly bursts into his head. Thoughts that clearly belong to another. Treachery! They betrayed me, trapped me, stabbed me in the back. My trusted allies, my treasured friends, the people I swore to protect, the people for whom I'm descended from heaven and came to this turbulent mortal world. There, there they are, up ahead in the gloom of the cave. What are they waiting for? Are they afraid to draw any closer? Do they believe I'm about to die from the traitorous, traitorous blows? That's the one. Next to me, a quiet moon, a girl with a golden braid lies on the rock, clutching her slashed side. She refuses to join the traders and pay dearly for it. I could have tried to run, but I will not. Oh, I still have the strength I must. Well, I'll 
recognizing the foreign origin of the thoughts. Flacco knows with in intuition that he can control them. So now let's try heal the wounded girl. Spark of healing magic illuminates the eerie, murky scene before Flappy Nutsworth. The wounded girl opens her eye and whispers, Larion, you, you said that everything was going to change soon. You said you and the other warriors of heaven would be leaving us on the grand mission to stop the demons forever. Is that true? The frenzy of foreign thoughts come fast, faster, like a rushing river imagined flash by one another. A priestess in colorful robes observing the stars, a young female paladin praying, clutching her glooming, glowing sword. A majestic golden winged angel gazing into the distance, his face covered by a helmet, but his voice ringing clear. Only if you're willing, only if you're ready, there's no going back. Then don't waste your strength. Then don't waste your strength healing me, the girl whispers. Your mission is much more important, you take care of it. Near. There is a vision in the darkness and the cave stirs in motion. Something massive appears from within the depths, a vague shadow outline, a nightmare come to life, a wave of odious chirping and rustling emanates from the shadow, the sounds piercing like hot irons, lancing through flesh and bone. The traitor falls to the knees before the shadow is revert ecstasy and wounded the girl thrashes in her death throes. Um, Will, but Flappy Nutsworth is determined to fight off the illusion. Success! Let's go, Will check. The force of the attack through Aldrin in the vision is terrifying, but Flappy Nutsworth is stronger. He shakes with the pain and torpor. But alas, the one who sent the vision cannot claim the same. He is broken, exhausted. Monstrous shadow emerges from the murk of the cave. The tear is not real. It exists only in strange vision of the memory, but the thrill of the fear is provoked and more than real. The shadow features starkly resemble those of Descari, the terrifying demon lord, and a movement as swift as the felt the monster hand wrapped around the throat. The one they called Lariel. The foolish ain't the foolish angel struggling on the rocks, like a fly with its wings torn off. It toes the shadow. Its voice changes as it moves, shifting from a quiet whisper to a sonorous shout, becoming young, then old and quavering. Where is your goddess, angel? Where's herself a short Harold? Wrong voice. How's that you were dying here alone? So far the light of the heavens. Nice. A strange calm evokes that. The thought of one called Lariel. He recognizes who stands before him and knows he will never bow down before this enemy. The flaming sword flares to life in his hand, bright, pure, flickering with melted colored sparks like a sunbeam through stained glass. Slush. The blade slices through a demonic creature's flesh, and the monstrous recoils with a howl, releasing his grip on Lariel's throat. Angel falls back heavily on the rocks. Fatality is ebbing, but his pride remains undiminished. He grips the sword with these last bursts of strength, plunges it into the rock. Flappy Nightsworth senses that the vision is fading, the rush of the thoughts diminishing like a river running dry. The last thing he hears is this. You will kill monsters. This is this I know, but one day someone come here, raise up my sword, then raise, they will rise up and punish. Evil doers and traitors, save, protect the innocent. The vision di disappears, vanishing in a burst of colors. Flappy Nightsworth does not hear the final words, but seems to complete thought taking it to heart. The words fly from his lips within something else. The heat blazing in Flappy Nightwear's chest fades away. The edges of the scarlet wound close, leaving not even a scar behind looking down. Flappy Nuts will see his flaming sword in his hand. Or rather than outline the memory of what the sword looked like. With the final surge of warm and soothing light, the sword vanishes and the light is drawn into his hand. Flappy Nightwear seems that it will only do it. All. Oh my god. Uh, sorry guys. Hey, are you all right? You were kind of glowing just now. I just cracked my back and all. Are you good, Michael? Did <laughs> you try crawling underneath the microphone? Hey, okay. Offering up a paid to. That, that was it. The light of heaven. But how? Cause I'm fucking sick. That's what it. What did you do with it? Where did it go? Uh, you saw it too. The traitors, the dying it's girl. It's only us here. Your group, you, me, Windu, and the light of heaven that sort of got uh, sucked into you. Any chance you can whip it out again? We do kind of need it. Into my death pin. <laughs> Sorry, I crack jokes when I get nervous, and when I'm upset, and when I'm happy. 
so anyway, you just kind of just crack jokes. We need just to bring you to that. You can show everyone the light of heaven. We'll rally the tribe and go into the maze, and we'll get back our kin. In a way, it seems like a bad idea to take your whole tribe into a very dark, scary place. But you know. And what if he can't make it happen a second time? What then? The tribe will just say we're crazy and turn its back on us. L'Oreal? That really was L'Oreal? The angel from the legends. The ancestors even got his name right on the gravestone. <laughs> the chief will be thrilled. Love the excitement, dude. You. Thousands of gongs and no one's been able to touch it. And now you. An ordinary creature of flesh and blood no different to us. Get the sword and start talking look, about visions. Not trying to be that guy. You say no difference to us, but look at this, Chad. You're a cat cross spider. I actually have no idea what the lore is. I don't know why you're a cross, but this just seems evil. This seems evil. Now, now, Wentuag, don't be a sore loser. He is clearly different from us. The sword appeared before him, along with the angel's name and all that other stuff, because he doesn't carry our mongrel taint. Heaven doesn't give a damn how special we are. We're born with evil inside us. Heaven doesn't need to know any more than that. Okay, so I was correct about being like Demon Cross? I know you're willing to tear anyone apart to uphold our people's honor, but you and Sul, you just refuse to face the truth. We are the way we are because our ancestors' bodies were corrupted by the Abyss. It does the same thing to plants and animals. There's nothing heroic or special about it. It doesn't make us better, and it doesn't make us worthier. I like this dude. He's very level-headed. Respect, man. It seems I can control it. So time to... Oh. That is just... Wow. I mean, that's amazing. Heaven has truly blessed you. Flappy nuts. <laughs> <laughs> oh shit. This power is the most majestic thing I've ever seen in all my life. Is this what the sun is like, Lan? Yes, it's similar. But this light is more golden. Chief Sol needs to see this. Now that we have the power of angels on our side, he can't say no. He'll have to assemble a troop to storm the maze. You Uplanders care about your kids, right? Help us save ours. Without them, we won't survive. And then, the perils of the maze won't be so bad if we go together. We'll make our way through it and find the way to Canabras. Nah. Let me just see a chief and I'll, and I'll decide if I'm going to help you or not. Let's go. We'll take well, the short route. Kind of well, the only savage route, really. answer. You could be like, hey. You know. You at least talk to the chief to make a plan type of thing, not... Where is he? What do we have here? Ah, skill check. Oh, did you see that? Well, the tabletop... Yeah. Yeah. Let me draw the first blood. You say that. Let you draw the first blood, but what if, uh... It's a spider! Sorry guys. Oh shit, it's a spider. You've crossed the wrong mongrel. Ah, so it depends on how the much movement I do. Into the fray. Die, die, die! 
Oh, backstabbed. You are today's sacrifice. What's the camera trying to do? Jesus Christ. No match for there me. we go. Uh, uh, pff, bye. Booking. Let's check this out. What's this? The mongrel did it. What? Trail me. Okay. Do not fear. Do not waver. You won't survive me. Miss. I can't shoot you. What's this? Dismiss spell. Huh? No idea what I'm doing. No idea. Endure this. You say that, but you literally did nothing, my good boy. Um. I'll rip you apart. Okay, Go I think you got heart. some issues there, Chief. Just saying, you might have some uh, issues. Slice. Uh, behead. Yes, behead. Them. Oh, you suck. Make every strike count. Oh, <laughs> get fucking down. What was that? What was that? one of cure wounds hey all right so was this just a mini encounter for pizza loot i'm guessing i'm guessing Thanks, that's what man. it was you're so awesome lad save the last one for me lot Eating giant scent. Hey. No match for me. May I see your entrails, please? Oh, fuck. Get absolutely I wrecked. There we go. I don't want to get why my dude walking so slow. I have no idea. No idea. Ah, there. Trying to work out. You've crossed the wrong mongrel. Uh -huh. Formation. It. that perfect dough and I have them grouped up then what's that there sure oh that. yes look at that we managed to get oh I thought that was going to go first on my your survive me I'll carve my name onto your flesh the fuck did oh, I just say? The attack commence. I carved my name into your flesh. Did that? Is that, that what my character just said? All right, we're starting to get a hang of the combat. I'm still not 100 percent sure why. Sometimes I can move and attack, and other times I can't move and attack. Oh, we're about to have. Him. Lances at land. Who's fixing his slipper? Slipped. Bowstring and quick looks over to you. Her cat like eyes glow from beneath the hood. Listen here. 
You know I don't know who you are or whether you come from, but you know I'm the only two people here who think see things clearly. That's why I'm asking you, don't show the light of heaven to some. I'll think about it. let's go. I thought you considered the Mongols to be uh land is sure the light should be. Do you want Yeah, let land is sure the light should be shown to Mongols. Let <laughs> He wants to play the hero. His first idea, if you remember, was to grab the sword, run headlong into the maze. Does that sound like a plan to you? Tell me it sounds like suicide. The worst part is that the tribe might actually take his words to heart and follow who where he leads. Don't you want to say the kid's lost in the maze? I do. I do want to, but I'm trying to risk the few, not trying to risk a few job. The trial for the sake of a few stupid kids. She sells hesitant for good reason. He also understands how dangerous this is for the tribe land. The only one who believes for these childish, childish games of heroism. I'll go alone if I have to and find them or whatever is left of them. Without any heroics, relying on myself, risking my own life. You. Friends, you can come with me. Perhaps we can make it and the maze together and find the way out to the surf. I'll think about it. Let's go. Don't show Chief the light, and I'll lead you to the maze the surface. Where? Okay. But here's the thing. Oh, fuck. Here's the thing, my dude. You've been nothing but a dick to me, so well, I'm going to listen to what you say to me. Really? You've been an absolute asshole since you came across me. What makes you think I'm going to listen to you? Right. Going in the undercroft. The underdark. First impression of the Mongol village is a Will it dump? The odors to match, unblinking glowing eyes watch you from the gloom and the form shadow slope between the hunt huts. You see some mongrels gutting white eyeless fish while others are repairing fish nets. All the signs of a normal village life but tense expectation. Yeah. A heavy set aged mongrel slowly shuffles away foot towards you. A hair on his head growing in limp, wispy strands and his face has a distinctly rat like appearance. With pronounced noots. He rat dude. Uh, you hear a rattling sound in his chest with every breath he takes. One of his eyes is white, fully scarred by cat cataracts, while the other gleams with moisture. Uplandish air. A time upon us indeed. Chief Sal, we found the angel's sword, and we found the one who can wield it. He had a vision now of the angel's sword together with the light of heavens are somehow inside him. Gather the tribe. Anyone can hold a weapon. The young ones are still alive. We can go save them. Ah, Len. Always dreaming. Always talking. You're too hastily. Too hastily for your own good. It's going to be... Get you in trouble. An uplander with the light. Oh, heavens. That's too good for us. A kind don't have good things happen. There's always a catch. Lan trusts people because he likes to believe that isn't that right, Lan. I'm the chief. I don't work on faith. Show me the light. All right. Throughout the game, that's pretty much telling us actions have con. All right. Cat watching a bird checking ahead in warning. Um, I like Lan. Even though I'm playing as a vampire rogue. I want to be a good person, so I'm going to be a good person, so. Land speaks the truth. I just realized it's a very burmy like accent that um Andy Circus does when reading the Lord of the Rings books from like Audible. They move flame flares to life at your unspoken command. Bright, pure, dancing with multicolored sparks like a sun being passing through stained glass. The mongrels are burned their tusks and stare, transfixed. The light is bright, but not blinding. It's warm, but warmth is soul deep. You perform an action that was lawful. There we go. So, we, so it's true. The angel did not forsake us, huh? No, he came back. He came dead. Came to save our children. Lane gives you a nod of thanks. The scaled half of his face is indifferent, but the human half is just visibly relieved as he wasn't sure all the time you would support him. This is that you're like, 
See the fishermen and these hunters that ask of men and women, their blood will be on your hands. I'm not responsible for others' decisions. And why they are they making the decision? Because of you. You sealed their fate. You're a murderer. You always think the worst, Wendu. We're not on our own in this anymore. We've got allies. We're, we're, well, a couple at least, but one good fire worth ten bad ones. You had the right of it, Land, but no, Nihilus were going to wait. I sent a message to summon all the tribes. It'll take time, yes, but they will come. They will all come for the light. Wait, Land. Wait, up, Land. Just rest a while in one of our huts. Our home is your home. All right, Chief. Understood. Let's hope that the few hours isn't the difference between life and death for those kids. If they ask me what took us so long, I'll tell them this is, it was your grips of teeth in silence. <laughs> Suck it, nerd. Ooh. Wow, I am not... What's my world? Flat zero, so go up in it. I... Trickery, that, that that trickery up. Perception be good to have, and also vision, rogue talent. All right. When the character or the talent makes a perception check, they gain bonus combat trick fast. Now the bill allows the character to move full speed using stealth skill without penalty. Right. Sorry, guys. Combat tricks. Right. Alright, well. Let's go fast. Let's go fast stealth. Yeah, I'm pretty sure they give you no points below waffle. Aren't you? She's so cute. He's a handsome boy. She's just a bitch. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Ugh. Finally, someone from the surface I was beginning. Oh, your name tells me nothing. Who are you? All right. Allow me to introduce myself. My name is Ogris Gwem. Yes, that's Gwem. You no doubt heard of me. If you spent any time at all in this city, I have business propositions for you. Your name tells me nothing. Who are you? You truly are freshly arrived in the city then. You couldn't have picked a worse time, that's for certain. Only just arrived at the city being raised to bubble. Rubble, not bubble. You should know that you are looking at one of the richest and most distinguished men in all of Canabras. I'm not but as well known as a certain swaggery loudmouth who spend their lives trespassing from one boss to the next. But Gwyneth Trading Company is one of the pillars of this city, I'll have you know. Did you see the mark used in the square? I pay for those. I tried any festive delicacy. You have Hogwarts Quirm to think. Okay. What, what kind of business proposition? I don't know what is happening on the surface right now, but I determined to find out. If you have no intentions of seeking out the rest of your days in this village, I suspect we must find a route back to the surface of the city. If there's any you look promising, like someone who can turn a demon into a mince meat before they'll have time to sneeze. I could use a kind of opinion. You're strong. It'll be no trouble to you, but alas, I'm not as fair as I once was. I can't go crawling around through caves playing scout. My promise is simple. Lead me back to the city. A thousand gold coins. All right, let's go. Oh. Let's try 2,000. Why not 10,000 or 100? No, let me be. Usually, let's have a million. Say, my intention offer was king. You likely never said a thousand, that's my final deal. Plain it out. Meantime, I'll sit in the village. Alright, cool. So, we've picked up a side quest to do while... While we're doing our main quest to get to the surface. Um, and, uh, let's trade. I don't know what I need, so I'm just gonna sell crap I'm not using. That. Yeah, alright, alright. Cool, 
short sword would be good, actually. I, I wouldn't mind a short sword. Only 12 buckarinos. Let's freaking go. But, all right. Other arm. I can't beat really what I have, so. That doesn't quite work my character, so. Go that. Get one copper for us. Nice. We are thick as hell. Alright. Let's go rest. What's in wait for me there? Oh, yeah. There. There we go. Resting. The message returned. The tribes are gathering at the entrance to the maze. Our people have already gone there. I've warned Eneva that the old guy won't. Even acknowledge me. Take your time. There's no rush. There's most important people already showing up. Everything's going to plan, but one thing bothers me. Where Wendell Kong? Um, let's just get there. Let's go. But before we do, thank you. I was happy I forgot to thank you before, but you've done something no one else has in a long time. You've given the mongrels hope. That we're starting to believe that we're worth something now. That we have the power of angels on our side. It won't change anything, of course, but at least you helped to save us the young ones. Hopefully. Let's go through the main gate, straight to the road. Alright, let's get this. this way. Yes, I'm. I, I. I. Right, it is this way. We are going this way. There. Boy! Try to take your most vulnerable party member, you cannot... Yeah, we've already done. That's that just talking about formation. Yeah, we've already done that technically, so yeah. What? Blood. Ah. You've crossed the wrong mongrel. Yeah, absolutely. Die! 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 Let's go with that provoking. Ah! The inheritor, guide my blade! Oh. I'll cut you wide open! Wait. Right mouse does something else for movement. You won't survive me. I think that's why I'm moving slow, is I think I've made him go into like a sneak mode i think i still don't understand how the so you can have it as turn based like that or you can have it run normally i still not fully understand the turn based mode but i'm giving it a go the typers are gathering soon soon will we all attack how long can we wait i know i'm giving them like the voice from like the goblin from labyrinth now the typers have turned up yet we're going to wait Knowing so, the preparation will take the best part of the day. Let's go, let's go take a look at the maze ourselves and see what's what. Okay. Well, this looks pleasant. I hope you appreciate this. Lord. Okay, so Demon Lord maze. Cool. I'll loot everything. Not every day we get to go through a demon maze. I don't want to try. Ooh. Right mouse does do stuff. Into the fray. Not 100% sure how combat works. Burn, slice, and behead. Ah, uh, 
that's how you can move from your normal you movement to sprinting, I think. Please. I have no idea. I have no idea what I'm doing. Don't mind me, guys. Legit no clue. Oh! Oh, attack of opportunity. Yes. Good job, Chief. I'm gonna save a strong smart ability. I wonder if she has dual feature or because she's not using the buckler now. I wonder if it's because she's not using the buckler now that she's getting a penalty for it. Oh my god, okay. Guy draw blade indeed, my dude. Jesus Christ, absolutely slogged on. I wonder. I crave for adventure. Yeah, like kind of. I did it. I did it. <laughs> right. Uh, this. So there's only one door. What we pick up. Nothing really. Else. Value, I don't think. A character. The road calls me. I'll take the bait. Wait. One second, my. Batting each other from around behind all my stuff, and I didn't exactly want to. That's no, not no, backwards. Hey. Uh, backwards. I spy. What do I right. spy? Right. Shall we move? We shall move. I did it. Dick. Trail me. Who loot? Let's shake a leg. I'm actually, how do I sneak? That's what I'm trying to work out. Character spell book. Character. Maybe under controls? Control. Oh. Yeah. No help at all. Turn base mode. I have not. I have no idea. How do I make some? option no no idea ah quick quick else we miss all the fun burn slice uh, behead that shred them damn that cold may I see your entrails please of a bitch. You crossed the wrong mongrel. I found something. Go for their heart. I was hoping they wouldn't see me. No. No. Survive me. Oh, get wrecked. Piece of poo. I am helpful. Am I not? You are extremely helpful. Your voice does something to me. Just say. So many thoughts. So little time. 
together we artificial intelligence well meditate on your mistakes i have no idea what that means i'll take the bait that mean that i don't play the other characters no secrets can escape my prying gaze <laughs> oh shadows embrace me it's kind of cracked, isn't it? Do not fear. Do not waver. All right, let's see what this AI thingy is about. Die! 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 I'll cut you wide open. No idea what happened. No idea what started. No glory without. Oh, cutscene. Last says the dead bongo, sorry. Uh, Hovland. His name was Hovland. Did you know him? Yeah, he's not from our tribe. We're both hunters, so we cross paths from time to time in the cave passage. We share new and new some lease supplies for each other, then just disappear. He used to talk about wanting to try his luck in the maze. So I thought he was long dead if only he had been let's go this place might even be more dangerous than we thought fun times i am helpful am i not you are i don't understand how to use any of any of this what's in wait for me there i wonder the heartbeat quickens well, this guy looks like a problem. Make every strike count. Every strike count instantly misses. I don't get how to spell. I really don't understand. to use charge I suppose to get get her in there quicker to sell what picking this way all right ah no 
much stronger armor, there's a penalty armor check. Oh, I hate that. All right. Sick. Anyway, that's where I'm going to end the stream. Thank you so much for joining me. We shall continue off in the maze in the next stream. So thank you. Don't forget to like and follow and all that fun stuff. And I shall see you in the next stream. Bye.